Hello beautiful people. So today we're going to be learning how to create customizable tweets on WordPress. So let's say you've created a WordPress website and you basically want to have um, a Twitter icon on the homepage, a Twitter icon on blogs, and then a Twitter icon on about us. So in every of these stages you want to be able to customize that tweet so that whenever a person clicks on this tweet icon it will like reach you a different tweet that you can create and when you go to the stories icon it will lead to a different tweet and then when you go to the about us it will go to a, a different tweet so the way to do this i'm going to be using the um backing page that we've been working on so this is what you do so the first thing that you do is you're going to go to custom fields for that page i've been made sure to keep the password and everything secure so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to add new, you're going to create, I'm going over what I've already created. So you're going to create a new field group. I've created it here. Oops. There we go. We're going to look at it so that you can replicate it. All right. So when you get to this page, you're going to create here at field. Let's go over what I did. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create the label. So what you're going to call that field, I'm going to call it customizable tweet. I could call it monkey if I wanted to, but for this sake, customizable tweet. Now the field name is super important because this is what's going to be connected to the database. So I also call it customizable underscore tweet. It's going to be a text area because you remember that Twitter is text area. It's not text, it's always text area. And the instructions for that are, are enter Twitter here. Okay, now the default value that we want to create for that is essentially what we want that Twitter to just create every time we create it. And it's going to be blah. Um, another, some, another thing that's very important is you have to create new line. You, don't, you do not want formatting for it. And um, then as you scroll down, you're going to have location. You, have, you need three things, um, post, page, and story. So your post type is equal to post, then you're going to click add rule group. Post type is equal to page, add rule group, post type is equal to story. After you do all of these things, you're going to click up here and you're going to update it. And it's going to update it just because. To test it out, you're going to go to post, which I actually have already done here. So when you go to post, oh, barnacles. So you're going to post. Let me just show you guys how I did this. So after you go to post, if you want to test it out, you go to the actual post. You're going to click on it. You do not click on the check, but you click on the actual post. And you're going to scroll down, customizable tweets, customizable tweet. This is going to be what's connected to the database right here, customizable tweet. So as you can see, we have the default um, tweet that you, we've created, but we want to test it out to make sure that it's working for this specific page. So as you can see, let's look at that page. So you click command and then you right click view post. So you click on that and you click on a Twitter, Twitter icon. You click on it. There we go. And it's going to open up test from the front line, freaking California, blah, blah, blah. But we want to test it out to make sure it's working. So we're going to test, test, test. Okay. So fingers crossed. Update. Updating. So it's saved. And now we want to view post, command, right click. So we get to that page. We click on the Twitter icon. And we get our Twitter thingy. Now I'm kind of curious as to why we're getting it twice. But it works. So first again, it's super duper duper important that when you click on this that you also be conscious and this is something that I don't have a lot of expertise I had a senior developer help me with this but um, you have to be really conscious that your PHP code matches because um, 
the customizable field for the Twitter um, is connected to our PHP. So you need to change this. The remember that we talk about customizable fields. So we have to include this in the PHP code right here. Let me show you guys. So inspect element. Right here, you see it? So we have to ensure that this line here matches in the PHP code. I am going to do another tutorial on that soon. But yeah, this is the basic gist of it. So, cool. Alright, I'm going to talk to you guys the next time I learn something cool. Bye.